Hi guys. In today's sailing tips video, we're gonna share something with you that we use to make mooring our boat a lot easier. This is relevant if you have a setup like ours here, where you have all the boats along the pontoon in a row, and they're secured at the bow by lines which go down to the seabed, and then at the stern from your stern lines. The way that we used to moor on this pontoon and the way that everybody else still does it is actually quite difficult. As you can imagine, a day like today, you come in with your boat, you reverse to get into the correct position. Now, if you've got boats on either side, it makes it a lot easier. So we were very happy when we were coming back into our slot and we saw that there was a boat on each side. But if you've got a boat or two missing, this becomes really difficult. What people do is they come in with their boats you have to stop the boat before you hit the dock. And then you get a boat hook. You pick up this line, which is always tied to the dock. And then you have to make your way all the way forward, carrying the line, not getting caught up in anything. Take it all the way to your bow. And it's only when you pull up on that line and you take all the slack out then you get to the tight section of rope which goes down to a concrete block on the seabed and it's only then that you've got control of your bow. So in, in the intervening time, when you've got wind from the bow like this, you get blown off sideways, it's a complete nightmare and we've seen lots of boats get into trouble and crash into other boats because of this. This is our really simple solution to that problem. We've got a section of line here which is tied to the rope which will eventually go onto the bow of the boat and on the top of this, we've got some floats. And a loop. Basically, when you come back in with the boat, this float is obviously floating at the surface and the line that's, that's eventually going to end up on your bow is shaped like this. So if your boat's up here, you've got the line coming from the seabed, it comes up into a kind of big lazy loop and then drops straight back down again. So you've got a section of line going down from the floats to the top of the rope for the bow and the rope for the bow is down about two and a half meters away from the surface. Plus, as you're coming in with the boat, if you accidentally get too close to the floats, the floats push away from your boat and basically it's impossible to get your propeller caught in the line here. So that's one thing that you don't need to be concerned about. So all you need to do when you're coming in with your boat is pick up the floats and then this loop can go straight onto the cleat. And then you're done, your bow's under control you'll be headed into the wind and now you, you can sort out the stern lines and you can get on with the rest of your day with relative calm. Afterwards, of course, you use the proper large diameter lines coming from the concrete block on the seabed and this then becomes redundant and you can just tie it off out of the water and you just throw it back in again before you leave next time. If it wasn't for this, we wouldn't be able to moor our boat on our home because I'm pregnant and I'm due next month. And obviously I can't lift heavy weights and like this, it's very, very easy. So hopefully it's gonna help you as well. 
If you tried this trick or if you have any other suggestion, please comment below. And if you like videos like these, please leave a thumbs up. See you next video. Ciao.